Okay, so now that I've taught you the absolute basics of uh, making a map in SketchUp and then exporting it to Gmod through Hammer, I'm going to show you a bit more about how to make a map a bit more interesting by uh, a bit more of uh, playing with SketchUp. Now, as you can see, I've added a little bit of an angled hallway here. This is part of what I'm talking about. You can simply uh, make the squares brand new using the line tool, which is kind of what I did here, or you can just simply take a bit of the hallway and sort of see if you can smash it onto the end of another hallway that's already existing. Like, you can highlight all of these groups and then make a whole another copy of these groups and then move them like that and then use the rotate tool. Now you want to be careful with doing something like this because again this can leave leaks in your map and little gaps everywhere. This is what I was talking about when not using exact values. It can make your, lap, your uh, map look tacky. But in this case this is just for demonstrating purposes. But see we're going to get rid of this little door thingy right there. Highlight this whole thing and sort of just see if we could mash it right into this hallway. Yeah, see, we've got a gap right there that we need to seal up. But for the most part, it looks like it's fit okay. Not really. But to fix this, um, what you can do is you can use the scale tool. Now, this is the large tool set. To get this to pop up, go to view, go to toolbars, and then in there should be large tool set. You want to click that. Now, clicking it for me obviously made it disappear because I already had it open. But the large tool set gives you a few extra tools handy right there so that you can play with them. Or the one that you're going to be using in particular is scale. So we can click on this. And you want to click this green dot in the middle. It makes all these green dots appear, and this is so you can scale it differently. Like you can scale it at the whole thing, like the whole size of the thing. Or you can scale the length of it, or you can scale Yeah, it's it's uh you, you you'll it'll make sense when you're trying to use it, but this one in particular is what we're interested in, the green scale about opposite point. So you want to click that and drag to where it's pushed in through there. So now that fits perfectly. And you want to do the same thing to this one. Let's push that in right there. Of course, you have a small gap right there. And it would be good to eliminate that a bit. But you, you see, that looks a bit nicer than those two bits poking out like that. And to fix this, you're going to need to scale this one out, outwards, like that. There you go. See, now you have another angled hallway, just like that. And um, the problem with this is now that you're going you're to need to put a roof on that, and that could get a bit tricky with the scale tool. In fact, I would demonstrate it for you, but I don't want to take too much of your time. But the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, curves. Well, you see, the main thing about exporting to Hammer is that Hammer is a bit touchy about one type of geometry that you group, and that type of geometry is called concave. You see, it says all over the Steam articles that you can make any sort of convex solid shape. Group it. See, I'm just making a sort of primitive convex shape just to demonstrate. I'm not going to teach you how to make this specific sort of shape, but just to demonstrate. As you can see, this is a basic convex shape, sort of like a pyramid, five-sided odd pyramid. And we group that, and Hammer will take that. The exporter will export that, and it will work without a problem at all in Hammer and in the game. And your player will be able to interact with that geometry. But that, that will actually work in the game because it's convex. It, it will work just fine. Now what will not export are these sort of shapes. You see this shape here has this little niche right here and see it's a, little, uh, it's a part that goes inwards and that's called concave. That makes it a piece of concave geometry and this is what I'm talking about. This hammer will not take, the exporter will not export that properly and Either two things will happen when you make shapes like this. The exporter will throw an error, or the shape will not export as visually seen. It will export in the form of some sort of convex shape that the exporter manages to make out of that. So it, it will just not export properly. And this creates a few problems for making advanced maps in SketchUp, and that's uh, 
one big example is curves. Um, usually what you would do if you wanted to make a curve, yeah, I'll go ahead and demonstrate, I'll teach you the curve tool, which is the curve tool, sorry, uh, to show you um, how to make curves in SketchUp. That's a 20 by 20 square. And then the curve tool right here next to the circle tool, which we haven't used yet, don't need to use it too much at all for Gary's Mod Maps. But the first thing you do is you click on one point and then click on another, and then you don't drag, you just, it'll just follow your cursor to make a curve as, as uh, big or as uh, wide as you want. And usually if you're making a curved hallway, you want it to be like this. And um, yeah, so there's your uh, sort of curved, well, curved section of hallway there. And now what you need to do is get rid of that, and you've got that. And so now we're going to make our curved bit of of a of like little hallway area or sort of end of the hallway that's curved. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use curves. We're going to need to get this out of the way to um, to have the room to work. So like if you if you were able to export concave geometry, simply the idea would be that you can like that and then you'd be able to group that and all would be dandy and then you can have that in the map however if you do that with the hammer exporter it will not work because again as I've demonstrated well not demonstrated quite but just showed you that uh, it will not export concave geometry and thus uh, it makes this being a little bit difficult so what you need to do instead of that oh crap What you need to do is instead use the push pull and you'll have to get rid of this as well. Use the push pull to pull out a little wall. And okay, you gotta watch out for that. Sometimes SketchUp will do that. Remember that every group that you make has to be a closed, simple shape. And then highlight that, and then make it a group and then continue the process push one foot group and then keep going on your curve until you are done and that is how Valve wants you to set up a geometry in SketchUp for exporting and yes it is much more time consuming and much more ridiculous overall, but it's the only way, theoretically, that you can make curved areas like this, like to make this possible, that's the only way you can do it. You can't use an arc because an arc will not export properly into Hammer. And so we'll just get rid of all that because that's just ridiculous. But as you can see, uh, the biggest thing with uh, making a Gmod map in SketchUp is learning how to use SketchUp if you've never used SketchUp before or if you do know how to use SketchUp uh, adjusting your methods to making this work properly and I've decided to end the video with this this is the SketchUp map that I've made a couple days back and it is as you can see quite big and it has a bunch of features which pretty much demonstrates how far you can go with with uh, modeling a uh, map in SketchUp and I've sort of taken the quote-unquote roof off of it so that you can see. It is a completely enclosed map. It's not an open map because I haven't figured out how to open, uh, make open maps yet. If I ever do, I probably will be able to post another video or update this one accordingly. But if we go inside here, we can use the eye tool to move the camera along like that. And we can see just what I've done. I've made a big open space because, of course, in Gmod, you do want a big open space to sort of play with stuff, make cars or make airplanes or um, gliders or whatever people do in wire mod Dang it. and uh, as you can see in here there's like some little central uh, area with a floor and like sort of window structure thing and this is like this was originally going to be adapted into like a, some some skyscraper but that got complex really fast and this is how you would achieve a window looking structure now all of these little shapes 
you're going to have to apply textures onto individually. So, um, and so on. You're going to have to pop textures on each one of these individual brushes or objects that you've grouped. And with stuff like this, where you have open windows like this, where it's like that, it's going to get pretty time consuming. Sort of what this map is supposed to be is a central area where you can play around with uh, Gmod in whatever way that you like, whatever you do, play with wire mod, make cars, put guns on cars, etc. And this, uh, and then the rest of it is a sort of a racetrack. And as you can see, I have adopted the method that I use for curves, where you have to put individual block shapes around in a sort of arc, like I've demonstrated in, earlier in the video. And in here is a sort of another open area where you can play around with stuff. And then a sort of ramp, or, well, not really a ramp, oh, dang, a ramp, well, yeah, just a sort of ledge for the cars to jump off of. And then another tunnel. And then you, you can see carefully that when I zoom out, you can see the actual lines of the blocks through the floor and ceiling of where the track's actually going. And there's these ramps up so that, again, there's a ledge to jump off of, and then you can start all over again if you're doing a race. And so this is sort of like an enclosed racetrack playground area, which is a neat little map that I've made with uh, learning how to do this in SketchUp in the past couple of days. But yeah, it's just to demonstrate, just to show you how big a map can get in Gmod that you've made in SketchUp, and how well this works, because I'm going to show you how this map looks when I start it up in Gmod. Okay. Well, now I told you I'm going to show you uh, my map in uh, Gmod, and that's pretty easy because I have a test server running right now on a computer in the other room that I can use simply to show you the map because it's the map, that server is running the map right now. And so I don't need to start the source SDK or anything or use Hammer. I'm just starting Gmod by itself as if I wanted to play a game. VGY allow HTML 0 because I have no idea why Gmod is not working properly. And here we are. As you can see, I haven't bothered with textures on this bit yet. But I've added a few custom textures, and I suppose at some point I can teach I can teach you how to use custom textures. I don't know if I'll ever find the time at some point to teach custom textures, but Ah, well. But as you can see, the map looks uh, close to the way it did in SketchUp, just with the textures and source engine. So I'll go ahead and pop a car out, and we can try out the track. Which one do I like the most? Hopefully the car noises work on this one. Ah. Uh. As you can see, that's working pretty pretty well. Oh, well.
Ah, dang it. Ouch. Ouch. Yay, Robert.